afternoon. Happy Friday. <coughs> Hello everybody. Hello everyone. Oh, so I'm just making my screen mega big. I think I've done it too big. <gasps> Hold on. It doesn't really look quite that big. <laughs> How are you all? It's been two weeks since we saw you. What have you been up to? Do say hello if you can see us. I'm just trying to sort out my um, my page here because it's gone a bit weird. That's better, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's doing a little bit of a weird thing. What are you doing over there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to refresh. <laughs> I'm just going to refresh the page. I'm just trying to get a picture to come up. I don't do any pictures at the moment. It's being a bit slow. Anyway, I'll just I'll just wait for that to catch up with itself. Do say hit say hello and you'll let me know if anyone comments, anyone's watching today. Um, we've had a very busy couple of weeks. Starting off with is the internet working? That's what I'm just double checking. Yes, the it's fine. Working. Um, with our um, look, since we we last saw you on the Friday before our garden party, which was amazing. Um, Do you want to sort that out? Yeah, I'm trying to sort it out. <laughs> Let me just sort this. Hang on a minute. Let me just sort this out. Why is it doing this to me? Let me just go back to normal size for a minute. Oh, it's gone onto a funny page. That's why. We are still here. Everybody. We are still here. Sorry, just bear with me while I just try and get Hi, my Jackie. Page, get my page to just sort itself out. It's being very slow for some reason. Right there, it is there. There it is. Right. Found it. I can see Jackie saying hello. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> okay. So now it's on the right page. I can make it a bit bigger so that I can actually read it if anyone's there. So, yes, um, two weeks ago we had our garden party, which was amazing. Thank you to everyone who came along to that. Such good fun, wasn't it, Ames? It was great. We had a brilliant yeah. time. If you look onto our page, you will see all the photos um, and you can see how everyone made such an effort. It was lovely. It was really lovely. Uh, some beautiful dresses, and uh, we did, like we said in our um, Instagram post, we had thought we were going to do a best dress award, but it was so difficult. Because everyone was best dressed. Everyone looked amazing. So we did the standout outfit, which was Steph. Justine sort of Steph made this amazing outfit, and she made it with when she was going to Hampton Court Flower Show actually, uh, and it looked so amazing. The fabric was beautiful, and uh, so yeah. So oh, Julie Morris is here on that's Instagram. What we decided. She says, Hello, so, hope you're okay. Oh, hi Julie. How are you? I'm all right now. I know what I'm not, know where my um, know where my page is. <laughs> <laughs> the garden party was great. We had a fantastic silent auction. We raised um, just under five hundred pounds for the My Sister's House charity, which they were very grateful to receive. Um, and uh, so that was fantastic. Thank you to everyone who bought fabrics and to who bid for them as well. I think nearly all the fabric went, didn't it? Yes, nearly so everything went. Everything went. So anything that was left has been taken to our sewing retreat next week, and we'll do another silent auction for the same charity then. So. Um, so that should be good. We love a silent auction. It's any event where you can do fabric shopping at the same time. <laughs> well, exactly. It was good. So everyone went home with some fabric. So that was fantastic. Lovely day. Uh, and then since then, we've had um, quite a few workshops. We've done the Southport dress, the Kilo dress. We've had a fitting and finishing workshop. What else did we do? Hi, Int Claire. Claire's, to couture. Claire says she's prepping for Brighton, getting oh. very excited. Oh, we're very excited. You know, we were talking about it on the Surrey School this week because Sally, Angela and Margaret were here today and they're all coming next week. So we're all getting very excited about our sewing retreat, which has been postponed twice. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Cynthia's happening. here on Instagram. Hi, Cynthia. Excited to see you next week as well. Oh, by the way, Cynthia, your fabric is still there. Mm. I've asked the events team and the fabric is still there from so last March. Good head start for our silent auction next yeah. week then from, from Cynthia's fabric from last year. Um, yes, and I hear, Claire, that you might be um, stopping off in, in Horsham at a certain fabric shop on the way down. Oh, are you now, yes, Claire? Yes, I think um, um, Claire and Janet and Suzanne might be stopping at the Nazi on the way down. Oh, I see. So that'll be interesting to see what you think of that. So yes, yeah, so we done. We did uh, quite a few workshops. We did t-shirt workshops, tunic bible. We did another tunic bible. Oh, hi Tanya. Hi Tanya. Oh, I'm sent out. I'm so sorry, Tanya. I meant to email you. Um, I was going to send them out, and then you, you placed an order for a couple of extra bits of haberdashery, which um, I was just waiting for to come in. So that should be in. Should have been in today actually, but it didn't come in today. So it's Monday now. But they will go out on Monday. Definitely send them out before. Um, before we go off to the retreat. So I'm so sorry, I meant to email you to apologise for the delay, but they'll be with you very soon. Hello Justine, she's uh, already sorting out, ready for the 
Excellent. Retreat next week too. Good, good. There's been a lot. It's massive retreat HQ here because we've got two in a row. We have, <laughs> yes. We've got the, our retreat next week. Then we have the one that we do with the Meg's Atelier the following week. So Amy's been busy, busy. I've got having both. no events to plan. She's still got two to do in two weeks. So exciting. It is good. It is good, isn't it? Thanks, Tao. Oh, thanks, Tanya. That's it. They'll get to you as soon as possible. As soon as it's, it's a little birdie needle threaders that you wanted. Out of stock. They were out of stock. And we didn't realise. No, I think your order came in and someone bought one from where the, someone was here in the class and bought one on the same day and I didn't think. That's my fault. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, on Monday and Tuesday we had a Tunic Bible workshop here this week. So another popular book by uh, Julie Starr and Sarah Gunn. We did a workshop uh, and there were four lovely ladies making tunics. You may have seen pictures of those on Instagram this week. Amy put some pictures up and there were a couple of other ones that I didn't get pictures of, which is annoying. So I'll try and get those because it's a really good book. You may remember, um, you may remember in the summer we talked about the book and uh, everyone went off to, to Amazon and bought it <laughs> and sold it, sold out. So uh, it's a great workshop. We've got another one next year if anyone's interested. And then this week we had a three day sewing school, which actually was the February half term sewing school, which was postponed <laughs> <laughs> to uh, August. So that was lovely to finally start catching up with uh, all of our postponed workshops. Um, so I had six lovely ladies here this week, all making um, fantastic garments. It's a very productive week this week. Sally made top and some trousers and Angela finished loads of things. Yeah, so it was um, really, really good. Really good week. Oh, I think Sally's just joined us on Instagram. Oh, hi Sally, you made it home okay? Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah, Sally made a fantastic bed, fantastic shirt um, by uh, a sewing workshop which we may well do as a workshop here. It's a really good shirt. So look out for some new workshops coming up. As soon as I get a day at home, <laughs> in a couple of weeks, I will, <laughs> I will uh, put some new workshops up for next year. So keep an eye out for that. Um, next, so next, like I say, next week we are going off to Brighton for our first of our two sewing retreats. Uh, so look out for some pictures. I'm not sure Amy will post lots of pictures. There will be. Lots of Instagram retreats. spam. Yeah, you'll be fed up with seeing us having such a good time in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited. Hi Maggie. Oh, hi Maggie. How are you? Loved your picture of your kilo uh, jumpsuit. Maggie was it here. It looks so good. Yeah, Maggie was here in the workshop and made the jumpsuit version of the kilo uh, by named clothing, and it looked fantastic. Oh, really Sally good. says hi on Instagram. She's going to be collapsed in a chair watching us for all her hard work this week. <laughs> Um, so also this week we finished a couple of, or the last two weeks, we finished a couple of um, projects on our sew-alongs. We did a slip, we finished a slip with nice lace edging and this dress, the dress I'm wearing, is the Aura dress by Paper Cut Patterns, which we were doing as a sew-along. So I finished it, so I thought I'd wear it today. Um, just to have something different for you to see me wearing, otherwise I'll just have to start wearing everything twice. So, um, yeah, so this is the Aura dress by Paper Cut Patterns. I made it a lovely, uh, lovely soft double gauze um, by uh, Luja Square. Um, the only thing with this dress, I love this dress. It's so pretty. It's a wrap. So it's a really nice wrap dress. You're going to have to stand up. Okay, it's a lovely wrap dress. Um, so, can you see that if I stand mm -hmm. up? So there we go. It's a really nice wrap dress with a nice big wide uh, belt. So it fits really well. Lovely puff sleeves. It's got a V back. Let me move my hair. It's got a V back and a V front. So what happens, um, it's fine when I'm sitting still, but when I'm moving around a lot, it just slips off my shoulder. So I didn't have time to do it today, but what I'm going to do is use um, strap retainers. These are called the strap retainers, and you can either pin them or sew them onto your shoulder seam, put them around your bra strap, and that just stops your dress falling off your shoulder. So if you've got something with a V back and a V front, um, I walked up to, I was wearing it yesterday, I walked up to get the lunches. <laughs> it's like, Keep that on my shoulder. Um, so yeah, little strap retainers. They come in a, a sort of um, beigey colour, a black and a white. And we'll be sewing those onto my shoulders for, the, for this dress because it's a uh... yeah, because it's either that because my V front V back dress mm. has got a tie across the back. That's so the one that's you wore to the garden party. The one I wore yes. to the garden party. Yeah. I was going to wear it today actually, but um, I needed ironing. <laughs> 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 yes, you had Amy's has got a little, a, like a little tie across the back to hold it on, but this mm. doesn't have that, so that would be another option. Actually, yeah, you could do that okay. to do that. So yeah, the aura dress, very nice dress, came together very well. I think we all enjoyed making that. It took us four evenings, but the last evening we just spent 
Doing a bit of hand sewing. You finished hand-sewing. early. We did. I got I home. Was, I was at home about to start dinner and she walked in the door. I did, yeah. I, only, I literally <laughs> finished at about 20 past eight, I think, so I left straight away. So, uh, yeah, great dress if you fancy making something um, with puff sleeves for the summer. I think I might need to loosen my elastic as well, actually. I'm not used, I think it's not, I'm not used to wearing elastic sleeves. You know, that's what it is. Oh. Maggie actually made this dress, but she made the sleeve straight. Okay. She said she didn't fancy it. It looked really nice with the straight sleeves. I really well. like the puff sleeve on you. It really suits you. Yeah, and that shape across the bust is really flattering. Makes you look really easy. small on top. Does it? Well, no, like, yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean. Not like, not flat chested small. I mean, in narrow. Narrow. Yeah. Okay. Dig yourself out that hole. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you look good, all right? You look good. It's a nice colour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have a large, Claire's saying, do we have a large cutting mat for next week? We are happy to bring one. We can bring one if you like. It'd be easy for us to pop in the van, Claire. Yeah. yeah. We've got our big one, which actually I've just put outside. We could put that in the van, couldn't we? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to bring a couple of small ones as well. Um, yes, yeah, so as long as people know, let us know any resources you'd like us to bring. Just double check with us that we're bringing it. So we're happy to bring a large cutting mat and a couple of small ones. Um, but uh, do bring your own rotary cutters because we probably won't have enough for everyone to use rotary no, cutters. No, we'll, so have... we'll have. We'll have a couple. An ergonomic one for people to, to try. Yeah, I've got one of those. So, yeah, that's no problem, Claire. We can bring one. So I know you're going to have lots of stuff in the car with you and Janet, and then all your shopping from the Marzi. <laughs> and space for shopping on the way back. And yes, exactly, exactly. So next week, what have we got coming up next week? I've got bra making on Sunday. Bra making workshop is one I've been teaching bra making for years actually, and uh, it's a really great workshop. But it seems like ages since I've done it. It has been ages. Since well, you've done it must that. be two years because of everything that's gone on. So this is again a postponed workshop, um, and um, so uh, we've got six ladies making uh, bras on Sunday. And it's basically the bra. I use a very basic bra pattern just to teach you all the techniques uh, and, and talk about fit and all that sort of thing. So it's a good workshop. Uh, Cynthia on, is asking on Instagram: Do I need anything special for sewing slash cutting sequin fabric? Uh, I would. Well, we'll have Microtex needles, um, cutting out, not particularly. I mean, Paper I, scissors. Yeah, maybe maybe don't use your best dressmaking scissors. Bring another pair of scissors. Don't use your best dressmaking scissors for cutting sequins. Um, I know I often use, yeah, we often use paper scissors when we're cutting sequins. Mm. So, Cynthia's going to make the um, Mexitelio shirt from the sequin fabric. Nice. Hi, Janet. It's lovely. Oh, hi, Janet. How are you? We were just talking about you and Claire driving down to the retreat next week. Ask Horsham. Yeah, so bra making on Sunday, uh, so that'll be a good fun. Then we're off to the retreats, and then in between the two retreats, Wendy Gardner will be here teaching the um, Make Your Own Body Double workshop where you uh, take your dress form and she tells you how to pad it all out to make a, a body, a double of your body, uh, and also you get to try out a pattern um, to make sure you can work with that, that dress form as well. So that'll be a good one. Um, that one's sold out and also the one in October is now sold out but I'm going to talk to Wendy about putting some new dates in for next year because it's a popular one and I think especially when people start to see the sort of things that have been created then they'll want to do that one and then what's coming up after that it'll be September goodness then it'll be September so the autumn workshops <laughs> will start <laughs> evening classes afternoon schools all that sort of thing will start up in September so we'll can't believe we're in September I know already. it will be oh my goodness it will be so yeah, keep an eye out for what's coming up. There are spaces on a few workshops in the autumn. Uh, and again, some of them, because they've been postponed from earlier in the year, when I send out the reminder emails, people have either forgotten or they can't make it. So I'm happy to sell spaces. So keep an eye out. So even though something might look fully booked at the moment, there may be spaces that, uh, that become available or ask to be added to the waiting list. I'm always happy to add people to the waiting list on a workshop. Uh, Claire said for sequins, a rotary cutter with a blade just for sequins. Yeah, exactly. You could do that. You could do that, mm. uh, Cynthia. Just have a, a special blade that you just keep for cutting sequins. It just depends if you are happy using a rotary cutter. I'm I'm really a scissors person, so. But yeah, yes, I'm not very good around curves. No. And Straight are, lines, I'm alright. Yeah, exactly. With I a am. ruler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I've been keeping an eye on what you've all been up to. There's been some great pictures on Midhurst Sewers page. Sally posted a picture after the, our last sewing school of her dress that she made for the garden party, which was the new Starlight dress. That lovely, really lovely Sally. Really lovely. Yeah, which looked really lovely in the picture and looked really lovely at the garden party as well. So that was a really pretty dress. 
um, and Jean, Claire and Cynthia all put pictures up of their Sadie tops, that, that tricky sleeve on the Sadie top. In fact, Cynthia has made two of those now, so it can't be that tricky. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Cynthia shared her pictures from her visit to Miss Anne Fabrics in Berwick Street. That was exciting, Cynthia. Are you going to bring us some fabric to show us? I haven't been to Berwick Street in such a long time. Mm. So that's a trip that needs to be done. Yeah, we do need to. We, do. we did walk down Berwick Street when we were in London the other week, but everything was closed. Oh, we did on our way to the Palladium. Yeah. Yeah, we did, which was nice. That was nice. Just because it felt weird not to. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, we have to. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different at night down Berwick Street. It's quite lively. It was quite lively. It was yeah. lively, yeah. So also Pat and Janet put pictures of their kilo dresses that they made on the workshop. Both look fantastic, really good. Uh, and uh, Maggie, I said earlier, Mag Maggie put her picture up of her kilo jumpsuit. Cause that's on the on the new pattern that Named had brought out. Since I had my pattern, which was just a PDF, they've now updated their pattern and redrafted it, and it includes a jumpsuit version as well. And uh, the jumpsuit was interesting because obviously the dress you can put over your head, that's nice and easy, but the jumpsuit you have to step into. So on the pattern, basically it had left the back open from the top here down to the waist. So um, you just put a button there, and because uh, most of us aren't over keen on showing our bra straps, so for Maggie, it's what we did is we lowered the front, no, the neck at the front here, so that we could raise the back seam up, and that worked fine. So that worked really well for Maggie and um, Jenny, who was also here making the jumpsuit. So if you are making that, that would be my suggestion: would be to lower the front neck, and then you can do the seam up the back. I still get into it. Very clever. You are full of those. <laughs> tips, aren't you? you have a solution for everything. Yeah. Solution for everything, yes. Yeah, always a way. It's always a way. That's what we say. Um, what else did I know? So Suzanne put. Suzanne's made another Mila dress. We'll see Suzanne next week. She's coming over from Guernsey mm -hmm. for the retreat, which will be lovely. Don't feel very excited about these retreats. I know. I always enjoy them, but I think it's more exciting. It's more it? exciting. So, I was talking to the my contact at the hotel today, and we haven't been to Brighton for a retreat since March 2019 or oh, April goodness. 2019 yeah. so it's over two years ago yeah. that we were there and we've had to replan this this is third time lucky now third ladies time lucky. third time lucky <laughs> we did replan it for March and obviously had to cancel it again yeah, so yes. third time lucky some people have been with us right from the beginning they were supposed to come last March supposed to come <laughs> this March and they're coming <laughs> good. I think we'll have a celebration on it Tuesday night. Yeah. Tuesday night in the champagne flowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally on an event. Yeah. We had our garden party practice. We'll start the first day with a hangover because <laughs> we got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots planned, lots going on. Amy's been doing itineraries and oh, lanyards and goodie bags and <laughs> all sorts of things. Anyway. What else? I've been, there's been lots of things happening. I've noticed a few things in the news. Oh, Jen's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Jen. Um, the Makes Atelier have got a new pattern. You probably noticed this come out last week. If you like the Makes Atelier patterns, the tie blouse or dress. I was hoping to get this made um, before <laughs> the Makes Atelier retreat at least. Uh, I've got some fabric and everything. So I think it's great. This is really lovely. Um, it's got uh, a sort of yoke across the front and the back and the front's got a tie in it. So. Hang, and it's got, as, as a few of the Mace Taylor dresses, the, the dress sort of comes in at the bottom, so it's a nice, really lovely shape. So that came out this week, and I was lucky to get a copy of that one. Uh, what else has come out? Closet Court um, uh, announced their fabric website went live this week. If you only had a chance to have a look, uh, Closet Core did sort of give us a bit of a preview a few, couple of weeks ago. They were going to be doing this. Uh, and it has now gone live. They've got some beautiful fabrics. And the idea is that you can look at any of their patterns and then they'll give you their recommended fabrics to go with them, which is really good. It's called so, Core Fabrics. Core Fabrics, yeah. They core are fabrics. some beautiful, and they're all sustainable. Mm, all that's of, right. All of their fabrics are sustainable. Oh. Or use, recycled or whatever. Mm. Janet's saying she's late today because she's been dealing with roofing contractors. Oh, well, well. That's all you need, isn't it? Roofing contractors getting in the way of your sewing socials. How rude. <laughs> so no, they've also got a new pattern out closet core this week called the Pauline dress. I like quite it. Quite interesting dress. I wasn't too sure, but Amy likes it. Yeah, I like it. I mm. want to make it. It's got about six or seven different variations. It has, doesn't it? There's and it's got a pictures. really interesting big, big like semicircle keyhole in the, the back. back. 
Mm. Um, and like a half puff sleeve and mm. I think it's there's a tiered version the here, yeah there's yeah. two versions and then there's like a tiered skirt version and a straight skirt version it looked cool I'm gonna make it yeah, yeah, yeah. it's lovely so that's yeah that's that's, that's Newton Closet Core um, if you are going to Lamazzi on um, Tuesday they've got a sale on their website Lamazzi Fabrics in Horsham so I don't know if they have a sale in the shop as well but uh, Lamazzi have opened a bigger shop in Horsham, so you can visit by, by appointment, but they have got a sale on their website, so have a look, and that's, I don't know when that's on till, actually, I had a feeling it was only on till the end of August, but have a look, anyway, they've got some beautiful fabrics, they do all the sustainable uh, eco um, brands as well. Uh, Tilling the Buttons have got 20% off until Sunday, there's a code for that one, hot, 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 if you like Tilling the Buttons fab, um, patterns, have a look at that one. And Sherwood. Sherwood often have sales, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Sherwood, who do a lot of McElroy fabrics. So have a look at that. If you like the McElroy fabrics, have a look on their website. They've got 50% off everything, 15. include 15, yeah. Oh, yeah, it 15. sounds like 50. Oh, no, 15% off oh. everything. And that includes their remnants until uh, 31st of August. And that code is summer special. All one word. Oh, and Fabric Godmother have got a sale as well. Not yeah, sure there's no code, they just have a sale yeah, section. Yeah, we're sale. not sure how long it goes on till. No. But they've got some nice stuff in this. I had a look today and there are some good some nice deals, fabrics. good bargains. So if you're looking for some bargains. She's got loads of stuff just delivered, mm. like tons. I just saw their email this week, there's lots they've of They've got a lot of new stuff about to go onto the Fabric Godmother website, so we keep will your try eyes and organize peeled. Because it's there, I think. They're in Hove, yeah, aren't they? they're Something. in Hove. Yeah. Um, anyone else got any deals that they've seen this week? Any fabrics or pattern deals? There's lots of things going on end of summer deals, I think, aren't there? Um, what else have been up to this week? Watching on the telly, making the cut. I think we talked about it briefly uh, um, on the last live two weeks ago. It's coming up to the final, and now mm -hmm. it has been the final. Mm -hmm. Have uh, anybody not watched it before we talk about yeah, it? Spoiler alert, because we're going to talk about alert. it. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> really happy. I was really happy with the winner, although I loved Gary. I loved Gary. Gary was, I wanted him to win. Yeah, we did really want Gary to win. I wanted him to win a lot. I was quite um, sad. Andrea was, I loved Andrea as well. I mean, she was great, but much more. Uh, uh, Gary's stuff was just more unusual, more artistic. Mm. And it was, we thought it was really interesting that, that with the judges, you had two models and a designer, and the two models went for Andrea. Yeah, and the and designer, designer was saying, You're crazy, let's said, go yeah. for Gary. But he still got a deal with Amazon, didn't he? Yeah, uh, he actually, did. all three of them got a deal with Amazon. So, has anyone else watched it? Did you like it? You do like a good sewing show. It keeps us. Uh... Cynthia, I loved Gary, and yeah. I liked setter designs best. Setter. Oh, that was the Andrea, wasn't it? Oh, Andrea. Yeah, yes. I liked yeah. her stuff too. It was nice, wasn't it? It was cool. Yeah. She did a lot of sequins in her final show, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, I liked her. I'm glad that... I have, do you know what? I haven't had a look at the Making the Cut store, though, have you? No, I haven't. It's very, well, I know. I have last year. It's very expensive. Is it? <laughs> like, crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, top designer prices, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they are but exclusive, they are. aren't they? Yeah. They are exclusive. I think it was like 200 quid for a t-shirt or something. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. the other thing we didn't write down was that Ali Pali tickets are now on sale. Oh, yes. Knitting and Stitching show... Uh, in October at Alexander Palace, the tickets went on sale this week. Workshop tickets, uh, event tickets. So if you want to come along and see us at Alexander Palace in October, you can go to the website and um, register for tickets. Oh, Maggie's saying he, she loved Gary as well. Yeah, his textiles yeah. and vintage prints were inspiring. They were. I think that was mm. the best thing about it. His I fabrics were yeah, beautiful. Yeah, they were. I loved his way he liked to create a story. Mm. And Jeremy Scott from... Moschino mm -hmm. understood it and he got the story and he just totally yeah, understood him didn't he and he, did. he was yeah maybe he went a little bit too little house on the prairie in the final. Maybe. i loved it though i did yeah really loved it the other girl though i feel like you've seen it all before yeah, there was nothing was new good. and inspiring that she brought out yeah it was all good but uh, a lovely fabric she used yeah it's really nice um, but yeah, going back to Knitting and Stitching show, we are, I'm going to be teaching every day um, from 8.30. There's classes at 8.30, Breakfast Club, you can come in early and then you get into the show early, which is always good. 
um, uh, and Amy will be there. I've got a stand. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. I think they're doing tickets for either morning or afternoon, from what I can remember, uh, which is great. They're still putting a lot of a lot of you know a lot of safety things in, in uh, involved. Uh, the where I'm going to be teaching the workshop area is normally half of one of the big rooms, but this time it's going to be a whole room. So this classroom is going to be bigger. There'll be more spaced out, and then the textile gallery is where all the stand, half the stands will be, and the great big main hall as well. And Amy's going to be in the textile gallery. Yeah. Um, so we're in the big boy we're room in the big this room. time. Yes. Room. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> I know. I better wave wave to you from the workshop. I know. As always, I'll be. Uh, Asking people to bring me coffees. <laughs> we may actually be looking for someone to help on the stand, but um, just get in contact. We've got to we've got to work out what we're doing. But anyway, do get in contact. <laughs> um, what else is happening? Celebrity Master Chef was this week. Oh wait, we've got a few more comments on uh, on making the cut. Making the cut. Cynthia said, "I thought the winner, although an interesting person, did absolutely awful designs." <laughs> <laughs> I actually agree with you, Cynthia. I didn't like her at all. <laughs> <laughs> Say it how it is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Maggie said, "I loved that machine that prints onto the fabrics." Which was that? Well, they all had the machine. You know, oh, they could print they their did fabrics. print fabrics. Yes, they did. Yes. Mm. Yeah, they could all get their prints designed. And it was nice they could actually um, scale them up and scale them down as well, mm. which was good. I did like that. I like the way they did their own fabric printing. Mm. It just added an extra dimension, didn't it? And as a shame, I did feel a bit sad that they... I loved that they had two episodes each week, but at the same time, I would have liked it to go on a bit longer. It's yeah, like, it was over too quickly. Yeah, wasn't it? one week, one episode a week would have been good, but yeah, it was good. Mm. Loved it. I might actually watch season one again because I've forgotten all mm. everything that happened. But... And actually, because I've been mentioning it to people who haven't seen it, they're all talking about season one, and I've forgotten. Oh yeah, so it'd be worth going back and watching season one. Yeah. Um, so anything to do with Sam. Uh, Patrick Grant, our lovely Patrick from Sewing Bee, was on Celebrity Master Chef this week. <laughs> Anyone watch that? <laughs> You got a bit annoyed, didn't I you? I did. I was in bed, mum texted me, because she was watching Catch Up Masterchef. I was, and they introduced Patrick as presenter of a uh, hit haberdashery show, The Sewing Bee, and I thought, <laughs> what? What's that? What is a what? haberdashery show? a haberdashery sh show, then? <laughs> so funny. Anybody else spot that? And they thought he should be good at presentation because he's in fashion. There you go. I thought he was really good. I was quite sad that he went out, um, but because he was really sweet. And but it was uh, it was it was good. It was good. It's good to see him on something else. Did anybody else see it? What did you think? Is it just me being really picky? No, I don't think it is me <laughs> being picky. I think it's rude. Yeah. <laughs> Hit haberdashery show. Yeah. It's Why is it haberdashery? Oh, I know. It's so silly. <laughs> and it's a BBC program. They should know what their own program is about. Just call it a sewing show. <laughs> Say what it is. <laughs> It was really well, at funny. least we're getting a little bit closer to being featured in mainstream shows. Well, that's true. You know, now people in MasterChef will know one of the judges from the hit haberdashery show. Yeah. The sewing bee. <laughs> What's that? What's a haberdashery show? What do you do on that? People that don't sew are not going to know what haberdashery is, <laughs> are they? That's a very long word for people that don't. <laughs> Cynthia, yes, haberdashery indeed. <laughs> <laughs> haberdashery indeed. Oh, they made us laugh. Yeah. They didn't make us cross. Very sad to see him go. Yeah. I was sad to see him go. It'd be nice to do at least one more, wouldn't it? He was just getting into it. But he did say that being a contestant made him really appreciate how contestants on the same bee feel. Mm. Um, it's always hard to be the first one to go out as well. But uh, yeah, never mind, Patrick. We still <laughs> love you. Was he actually good at cooking? <laughs> he did really nice stuff, actually. Oh. But he did um, a deconstructed cheesecake oh they always go wrong when they yeah, go deconstructed that's yeah, very five years ago now exactly i don't think i didn't and the others he did a cheesecake and the others all did main courses which were quite complicated as well so it came across as being a bit simple i think oh i can't believe you at the end but um i need to watch it you do need to watch it i'll watch it, it this good. weekend yeah yeah just watch it it was good <laughs> it's <haberdashery> indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so looking forward to seeing cynthia this yeah, week so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so any other news what else have you been watching on tv this week 
I, I mean, I've been told from the ladies here I've got to watch Modern Love on Amazon Prime. You do need yeah, to watch Modern it. Modern Love. But I couldn't get my Prime, my Prime thing to work on my, app, my iPad last night. So. Oh, that's disappointing. It's very disappointing. I've got a day off tomorrow, so maybe I'll watch a bit tomorrow. You'll like it. Yeah. You'll, you won't watch a bit tomorrow. You'll watch all of it. <laughs> That'll be me. There are only 30-minute episodes. Watching Modern Love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very good people. It was good actually this weekend. The sewing is amazing. The conversations we have here in the sewing room actually, but the ones that we can talk about are what we talk about and what we watch on TV. <laughs> <laughs> lots of suggestions, lots of audio books, lots of podcasts that we all talk about. It's really good. There was one called Everyday Style, which that which seemed very good. That everyone's talking about today, which is um, if you have podcasts, Everyday Style, which talks about um, uh, the style for your body shape. So if you like podcasts, try that one. I need to make a list of them so I can talk about them on Friday. I should have been doing that this afternoon, shouldn't yes, I? Yes, you should. You should be taking a notes. list of what everyone listens to on their podcasts. Because um, I should be doing that tomorrow, but I won't be. I'll be watching more than that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let me know if you have uh, been watching anything else. If anything else has caught your eye. I'm going to do a little demo now. I thought I would do a demo. Um, so, today I'm going to do a demo on mitering corners. Um, when you when you get to a uh, part of your garment where you've got a corner, it could be the front of your garment on a jacket or a coat, or it could be the split of the skirt, you can literally just fold over your edges and, and stitch them, but it's always nice to do a mitre. Uh, and I have got, um, uh, oh, Jilly. <laughs> Jilly's just joined us. She's, the builder stayed so long, sorry, she's late. That's all right, Jilly. I'm glad you joined us. It was lovely to see you last weekend. Jilly was here for two workshops last week. Fitting and finishing and introduction to couture. Did really well. Getting ready for our couture retreat next week. Next year, not next week, sorry. That's next, week. next week. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, and my, going back to mitres. Yes, I'm going to show you three different ways to mitre a corner. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. And then you may decide that you want to do that on your garments because it's not something that's on every pattern. So a lot of bow patterns show mitered corners, but uh, a lot of the time are. Oh. What's this? Claire says, I like Dispatch to a Friend podcast. Not so related, but really nice to listen to. Oh, that sounds good. I'll have to look at that one, Claire. And Julie said she enjoyed last week. That's good. Good, good. my tea out the way so I've got three pieces of fabric here so I can show you so when you um, are going to do a corner like I say you could just fold over the front of your garment fold up the bottom and you could just stitch it that would be fine okay nothing wrong with that but if you want to mitre a corner um, it's uh, a bit nicer and also it takes out some of the bulk as well so I'm going to show you first of all if you want to mitre a corner and stitch it by hand. So something that might be on a wool fabric, but you're going to be stitching, you're going to be turning up your hem and stitching it by hand. You'll want to do your mitre by hand as well. So the first thing you do with all corners really is to press up the two sides. Give them a press so you've got a nice, so you know where this corner is. So you know where this is going to be. And then with a... Um, with a uh, hand one, what you're going to do is just fold fold down one of the ends and then fold up this corner so it meets the fold. So just fold up the corner on the one that you've left down. Just fold it up and then we're going to trim out a bit of the bulk here. I normally leave probably about a quarter of an inch from the fold. Trim that out. And then turn this hem up. And you've got a nice little corner there. Which you can pin in place and then, oh, I didn't fold that very well, did I? Let me just fold that a bit better. There we go, that's better. Which you can pin in place and then you can stitch it by hand with a little fell stitch. So starting at the top, just to show you a bell stitch quickly, as you've forgotten what that is. So I'm going to take that pin out, probably 
if I'm if I'm doing anything in wool, I normally tack these things because pins always get in the way, don't they? So a fell stitch. My thread is waxed and pressed, by the way. That's it was already in my um, ne threaded needle case. Oh, excuse me while I just thread my needle. I mean, you were just getting ready, then, weren't you? <laughs> I was you just getting ready with the close up. So come up right on the fold of the fabric and then go straight down into the layer underneath, go along between the layers and come up on the fold again. Julie did lots of this last week on our couture class. So again, along between the layers and then come up right on the fold. There we go. And you can stitch that all the way along and then that's your hand stitched mitre. I won't go all the way along otherwise Amy's got to hold the camera at that funny angle. And then you would go ahead and, and uh, hand stitch the rest of your hem. So that's a hand stitched one. I'll just move that needle out of the way so you can see. It's a really nice, a really nice edge. Okay. Obviously you'd have matching thread. <laughs> Um, another occasion where you might want to do a mitre is in a hem that has a double fold, like this. So the first one, I've just overlocked that edge, but you could again have double folded it, but this is the, a double fold. So I would fold up, I'm doing half an inch, half an inch, and then folding again. So again, I'm doing my, um, pressing the hem as I want it to be to start off with, like that. And then unfolding one of the folds. And what you need to do for this one is to um, fold it up and fold the, fold the mitre as you want it to be when it's finished. So I fold the corner over and then just double check what I want it to look like when it's finished. So that's what I want it to look like when it's finished, but of course that's a bit bulky. So take this back. And that fold that I did, that when I, where I folded it up like that, across the, the point, I've drawn a line there. I'm going to trim off some of that in a second. So what I'm going to do now is fold this corner right sides together. And I'm going to machine stitch across that line. Did that make sense? Mm, Show that again. I find mitres really hard well no it's not hard it's just it, it's like a brain yoga it is a bit of a brain yoga so you fold so you, if I open that right up you've, you've got the corner the cor the corner that we looked at originally that's the all important bit isn't it that corner there that's where we want our corner mm -hmm. to look neat so unfold it once and then where that corner is you fold up 90 Straight degrees across, yeah 90 degrees 90 degrees and give that a finger press <clears throat> that's where you draw your line in oh, that finger press then you're going to fold right sides together, like that. You don't have to draw a line. I've done that so that you can see it, actually, but you could just stitch in the crease. I'm going to stitch in that crease. I'm going to go to the machine and stitch in that crease. Make sure you do a reverse at each end on this one you want it to be secure you could go down to a smaller stitch actually I'm on 2.4 but probably it's a small area I'll go down to 2.2 stitch to the fold and do the reverse there so I've stitched on that line I'm going to trim off some of the excess fabric there because we don't need all that excess there trim that thread off and then you would press that seam open. So if you had your, I'm going to finger press this, but you will, you would do this with the iron. Just press that seam open. If you've got a, a tailor's board, you could use that, but you can use these little wooden point turners as well. Just press the seam open like that. Uh -huh. Okay, and then turn it through. There we go. Turn that through and it all sits beautifully. 
it would do if I pressed it properly. And that's your second mitre. Oh, that's not quite, I didn't stitch quite on the line there. Can you tell that? Oh, look. Didn't stitch quite on the line. I can see that I didn't stitch quite on the line. I'm slightly bit off. Oh, look, I'm a bit off there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just go back and do that again. I don't like to be completely out. So what I'm doing is, it always happens on the line, isn't it? I'm stitching at a funny angle. There we go. That's better. There we go. So you do need to stitch exactly on your lines, otherwise it won't lay flat. <laughs> that was a good example. Yeah, good example of, of how, how not, not to, to do, do it, it and then how to make it right again when you do do it. There we go. Okay. So that's that one, which is a and then you could just machine around your hem and that'd be a lovely corner. So that's your second mitre with a double fold. The bits cut off. And then the third one. Um, you can, I, I, with that one I just did, I trimmed the corner afterwards, but you could always trim your edges first. So again, another option, if you're doing a single fold again, rather than a double fold, fold up your corner like that. Again, have a look at where you want your, um, how you want your mitre to finish. It's going to be like that if I can just get that the right angle that's better that's what we want to look at that's what we want it to be like like that okay so you can see that's where your stitching line is going to be so again this is my stitching line let me draw that in so you can see this is my stitching line across here So I could trim out some of this before I do the before I do it. So I could trim about half a centimeter seam allowance, like that, like that. Fold this right sides together, and this time make sure you stitch on your line. <laughs> I'm going to stitch the other side. I like it's just a thing. I like to stitch towards the point, but you don't have to. You can stitch the other way. It doesn't really matter. So pick up and Pins. Make sure that you are stitching on your line on both sides, like that. And stitch along your line to your corner. Okay, you can see I stitched on the line, that looks better on both sides. <laughs> press your seam open. Again, I'm going to press that. Okay, point turn off. And then turn it through. Let me just give that a little push out. There we go. So that's a really nice little neat mitre. Just to trim that thread off. So, three different ways to do a mitre, depending on your fabric and your project. There's one where I trimmed first. There's one with a double folded edge. And that one I stitched by hand. So I hope that was helpful. Luckily it's on the recording, so you can look back Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Ames, you've got now to do a mitre now. Every time I have to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> So I hope you found that helpful. It is a nice way to finish, particularly if you've got a skirt with a split at the back, you know, and you want to just uh, make it a bit less bulky, a bit more neater. Do a mitre. Did that make sense, everybody? I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's uh, helpful. Uh, do let me know if there's anything you'd like me to demonstrate on these lives on a Friday, because sometimes I think, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do this week? Jackie said very clever. Oh, thank you, Jackie. And I hope, I'm trying to get all my file all my samples away as well so that I can show them to you when you come to classes. So Amy's going to pop in now, aren't you, Amy? Just sorting out the phone. I am. So I was just plugging phones just in. Plugging phones in because um, oh, what did you do with my tea? Oh, sorry, I hid it behind the laptop. Oh, thank you. 
I've just got to. <laughs> Sorry, it's my Birkenstocks making noise in the background. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I feel like I'm squeaking. <laughs> Anybody who's yeah, a Birkenstock yeah. owner knows my pain. Jilly agrees with me. Oh. <laughs> on... And Tanya's saying, just about to record it, she'd never remember that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? You can watch it on back on the recordings on Facebook, or I put them on YouTube on Saturday, so you can always go back and watch it on YouTube. Stop it. Tanya's in the yeah. over. Okay. <laughs> I know, they're very noisy. They're very you don't noisy. actually need to wear shoes when you're in here, really. Oh, that's true. I'm used to wearing them. Just need to lift. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Amy. Amy's wearing my, my kilo dress today because she wanted to wear something she's made to show you and this was that was the best thing to wear underneath. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my my blooming squeaky shoes yeah, off. Yeah, they're very squeaky. Okay. okay, anybody that knows knows that I've been I finally finished it. Yay! I finally finished my Silk Organza utility coat. There you go. It looks fantastic. I just have one bit of, I just want to put some tape down here. But otherwise, it's done. It's finished. Ready for the retreat. So, so good. We're trying to think, what can I wear? Underneath. Because you're making a dress, off. aren't you? Today? I'm making a, like a cobalt blue dress. Mm. Um, so I'm just, don't want to sit on it. But it's um, Silk Organza. Mm. And it's a parka basically, so it's got elastic down in the bottom with a little split in the back. Split in the back. Which is a variation to the pattern that, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> yeah. And I put toggles in the middle and I decided not to do, it's supposed to have buttons, buttonholes down the front. Mm. Just, I'm sorry, I'm a bit high. Mm. <laughs> I've decided not to put buttons and buttonholes down. Because you never would do it up, would you? I'll never do it up. Mm. I think I'll leave it like that just to sit and it's got a hood, but it won't. Your hair. Go over my hair. But yeah, it looks so cool. It's done. Yeah. So I thought I had to show you that I finally finished it. <laughs> that was a sew along, wasn't it? Mm. What to wear underneath? Very little, oh. Jilly says. Well, Jilly. <laughs> well, I have a cobalt blue um, plain crepe that I'm going to make. Put your sunglasses on. Very can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to make the slip dress by Meg's Atelier so that I have an outfit to wear on the retreat. Yep. It looks great. Yeah. It looks so good. Love it. You're going to change these buttons, I think, I'm going to change, change the ones. buttons to something a bit darker because yeah. they're a bit bright right. now. Mm -hmm. I used like a the pewter colour the toggles for the this. toggles. Mm -hmm. So we've got a button that sort of colour, I think. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah. Really good. Well done. So that's what I did this week in a couple of hours on. What well, I was saying was I had to put the hood on and finish mm. the front band and stuff. So yeah. that's what I did. I was finishing this because really I need good. stuff to wear to these retreats. <laughs> Amazingly, I don't have enough things. But enough finished things. I think. Enough, no, finished yeah, things. enough finished things. Yeah, yeah. and actually a lot of my makes atelier stuff is a bit tired now. You know, I've made it lot. years ago and it's all, yeah, mm. a bit worn out. So I wanted something fresh to yes, wear. Two of my unfinished things. Jilly said she liked the dress behind. That's yeah. a, a Vogue pattern that we did on the sew along. Um, it's uh, by Tom and Linda Platt, so that was that one, uh, and it was really good fun to make, lots of pieces, and the zip goes at an angle in the back, and the other one is um, the Meg's Atelier Typhon blouse, which again we did as a sew along, and the fabrics from Bloomsbury, really pretty viscose satin. Mm. Sort of it's very pretty this yeah. fabric. So that both of them need finishing, just got hems to do on both of them, so I'll try and get that finished for the retreat actually, for the Meg's Atelier retreat. Are we crashing oh, legs? Crashing legs, there we go. That's better. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you've just been really busy doing I've been crazy busy organising. Yeah, that light's very close, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's much closer. Quite right. It's because these tables are blinded, aren't oh, you? Yeah. Um, yeah, getting ready for retreats. Smells to making goodie bags today. Mm -hmm. um, planning both of them at once. So that's a little bit hectic. Um, just uh, after the garden party, we're now planning a Christmas party. Oh yes, we're we just are. securing the location, so Look keep out. your eyes peeled. That's um, the other thing was that somebody had mentioned to me that um, they'd heard people would like to come to our New York trip, but didn't want to do the cruise, and that is actually an option. Mm. So anybody that was uh, interested in that, we do have space for three people to join us just in New York. Um, details are on the website. 
I think it's about £1,500 for one person. Um, it's about 1000 if you have someone to share with you because that's obviously the hotel. But that yeah. includes hotel and the Garment District tour. Thank you, Janet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jean. They're very pretty today. You just have them done. I've just you? had my nails done. Yeah. I'm all mm. neon-y and leopard printy. <laughs> um, yeah, so there is... Three places. Three places. Three places available. The cruise it's is sold just, out. Um, so. The cruise is sold out yeah. now. We sold our last place um, last week, mm -hmm. which is why we thought we'd let people know they can just come to New York. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if you want to come, there are places available. It doesn't include flights, but flights to New York are always pretty reasonable. Yeah, you can always get a good deal. You can get a good deal. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Um, also, uh, we only have one place left on our Carlisle Couture Retreat now. We sold... Mm -hmm. Um, the second to last place yesterday so one place left I do have somebody interested so if anyone wants it you've got to get yeah, in there because unfortunately Bonnie can't make it can she Bonnie so from America had to cancel it, so. well we had one place left then it went to two now it's back to one mm -hmm. but I've another lady is like oh I want to come so which is going to be great That's yeah be another fun thing to look forward to next year but before the Carlisle retreat there are two other Brighton retreats we've got there? another Brighton retreat in March um, which has spaces mm -hmm. and well, there's another Makers Atelier retreat in April which only has two places left mm -hmm. that one's nearly sold out yeah so yes so, all details and then we'll be planning more and more and more we will now that I'm an event planner again <laughs> you've got your Johnny, lots more. West Country is sold out, isn't it? Yeah. West Country is sold, sold out. out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. We also have lots of fun our retreats, so do try and join us if you can. We also have fun, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. Lots of sewing, lots of fun. There's always some sort of alcohol involved, of course, as well. well yes. So. Maybe. <laughs> so, um, I what think are you doing it's today? cocktail time. So we're actually doing a cocktail this week. Yay. I did have time to go to the shop. So, <laughs> this is the cocktail that I was going to do two weeks ago, but didn't have time to go to Tesco's. So other supermarkets oh, are available. But very sad thing happened though after the last live, didn't it? When you were oh, blowing up balloons. Yeah. So after the last live, you know, I was running a bit late because I was getting ready for the garden party, and mm. I was making. So I made a gin and tonic with elderflower liqueur, and it was, was very, very nice. nice. <laughs> Jinx. It was very nice, and then I was back in the office blowing up balloons because if anybody saw, I made a balloon arch because yes. of course Amy wanted to make a balloon arch. So, so I did, and I had my machine blowing up the balloons, and a balloon went off in the wrong direction, knocked over my gin, and broke my Brighton gin glass. That's so sad. Which are now no longer available. That was very sad. We've only got one left now. Oh, I know. And I did ask Brighton Gin, and they don't have any left. They're they're old school those glasses they are. they're very nice so they? that was a very and, was also, and very also very upsetting that the gin went everywhere yeah, gin went all because over the i was quite enjoying it and it was helping me with the balloons <laughs> and bless my poor boyfriend who doesn't really like balloons was in charge of getting them out of the car the next day so those oh. balloons have traumatized quite a few people i think yes your, anyone who came to the garden party would have met chris he was very helpful wasn't he he was great he was very thank helpful thank you to chris for helping us what have you got in there? Yeah, just a little crumb of something. Um, yeah, sorry. No, it wasn't anything <laughs> gross. I just noticed it was like a little something. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> did you cut in your own world, dear? I did. So I was trying to get it out. I didn't want it in our drinks. <laughs> so anyway, moving what on. What are we having today? Today we're having a gin cosmopolitan. Ooh. Which is, cosmopolitan is mum's favourite cocktail. Um, and Victoria from Bloomsbury Square also. Um, and this is, I had done one of the first, I think it was the first cocktail I did on the lives, um, was a Cosmo. Mm -hmm. But this is a gin Cosmo. So a classic is usually with vodka. But this is good to know so that if you don't have vodka, you can make it with gin and vice versa. It's the same, exact same recipe, exact same process, but it will just taste a little bit more botanically. Ooh. So... You need gin, <laughs> and it's per person 25 mils, uh, which is a single shot. So I'm doing a double shot. Uh, Cause Maggie watches this. Oops, I spilled a lot there. Maggie watches and keeps an eye on what you're doing. She does. She wants to make sure I have <laughs> enough gin. <laughs> um, so gin, Quantro. Um, you could also use triple sec. Any orange flavored liqueur. You could use Grand Marnier if you wanted. But Quantro is the middle range one. Um, 
Again, same amount as the gin, so oh. 50 mils for two of us, 25 each, if you're on your own. Because why not make a Cosmo for yourself? Oh, I think it's good. I might do it this evening. Um, then you... Oh, no, I left the lime juice in the kitchen. <laughs> Excuse me. It's in a little glass. Oh, I, I squeezed it and everything. Right, no, I didn't see that. I don't want to have my tea, actually. Oh. I can't get the lime juice. <laughs> um, cranberry juice. You need uh, about... <laughs> Maggie is the gin monitor. Yes, you are, Maggie. Um, cranberry juice. Your favourite brand. Oh, thank you. Is this good? And the alcohol assistant. Yeah. Maggie's the gin monitor. You're the oh. alcohol assistant. It's great. I've got everybody here. So, um, 50 mils per person of cranberry juice. And this is where you can put more or less, but this will get you a really nice pinky colour. Um, you don't want it too red. Sometimes if you're in a cocktail bar they come out and they're this real dark red colour and that's not particularly a very going to be a very good one. It means it's got too much juice which is too much sugar. And then lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice, you want about 15 mils each. Okay, that's it and then you're going to shake it. Yeah. Oh, my oh, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. I see. I'll oh, forever be your cocktail oh, yeah. shaker. And once it's really, really cold, um, with a Cosmo, we always double strain because you've put fresh lime in there, so you don't really want all the limey bits in there. That should be a nice pink oh, colour. Oh, it's so pretty. This will be good. You get your mm. gin Cosmo now that I've got you into gin. <laughs> I never used to drink gin. Okay. And then I'm gonna see if I can do it. I don't know if I can. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. So the classic um, Cosmo finish is you shave off a big bit of orange peel in like a circular and it needs to oh, <laughs> needs to be springy it needs to have quite a bit of pith behind it because you're gonna get a lighter and get sparks like Yay, that what? so it's basically giving you a a charred orange zesty Flavor across the top. I think of your that's drink. the first time you've done a Cosmo. It's actually worked. I, I think you've done. That's really good. I did buy two oranges because it does depend on the orange. You want quite a hard orange. It won't work if it's gone too soft. So this one, I had to bring two. Standard work. Yeah. See that one's not going. It's the same orange. That's weird, isn't it? I'll try this one. This one's hard. It's funny. Also, <laughs> in Tesco, stealing the oranges. <laughs> I need to set fire to my orange. Which one's the best? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This looks like it could be good. Maybe. It's actually a bit. I think it might be easier with a knife to get the. Oh, that's not the... Anyway, you, you get saw the first one. You saw the first one. It's tricky to do. We used to have to do that for every Cosmo we served, but we had slices of orange peel, so it's a bit easier. And then um, you've got a lime. Lovely. A pre-cut lime. Oh, I did it first this time. Yes. So you just cut your pith there. That's so cool. Yeah, that's really You pretty. can have the one that had the spark. Oh, yeah. I can see that happen. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Cheers. Happy Friday, everybody. Mm. That's as good as a vodka one. Oh, well, thank you very I much. I like it very much. <laughs> good. <laughs> I'll give some more. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so Gin happy, Cosmos, happy but retreats. you happy retreats. <laughs> <laughs> Have some of these next week. Yeah. Mm. Bring my cocktail kit. Um, so again, yeah, you could do that with vodka or gin. Mm. Lovely. Really mm -hmm. nice. Mm. Doesn't taste too ginny, which I always like. <laughs> ginny. 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 <laughs> 
So there you go, another lovely cocktail for Mains. Mm. I, I do like it, it's pretty, isn't it, Cosmo? It is. It is very pretty. Yeah. So I think that's all we've got for you this week. We've got, we've got to go off and finish packing for the treats, haven't we? We have. Get ourselves organised. Yeah. So we won't be here for three weeks. Yes, because we're, we're going to be in Brighton. We're going to be in Brighton for two weeks, so we'll, do, we'll be three weeks with that. We will. Uh, to tell you all about it, but do look out for pictures because there will be many. Yeah, we'll see a lot of you there. Yes, a lot of you will definitely see that. Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Yeah. Oh. So okay. thanks everybody. Thank you Have for a coming. Great weekend. Have a great couple of weeks. Thank you for joining us today. Um, oh, let me move back in again a little bit. And yeah, we'll see you uh, same time, same place, but in three weeks time oh cynthia said we have high expectations for the cocktails we'll find in brighton bars high <laughs> standard to meet I'm after watching we'll amy's there. mixes we'll be saying, are you not are you not charring your orange peel yes <laughs> <laughs> only sometimes works <laughs> oh cheers see you next week claire oh hi suzanne see you <laughs> oh see you next we're just week. leaving <laughs> see, you next week. Week. Yeah, see you next bye, week bye everybody bye, bye. 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 bye.